it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So I was doing kind of like a year and review of like my channel and like what videos you guys liked and which ones like didn't do so well, etc, etc. And I came up to a great surprise that this video from two years ago is starting to like kind of I wouldn't say go viral, but like it's gaining a lot of traction in the last few months and it is my how to layer like cold weather dressing video from over two years ago. And I don't think I've really done something very, very similar since. So I wanted to kind of create an updated version for you guys if you guys really liked that video and wanted to bring it into 2019. So I have a number of outfits here for you guys today and I have this base on in every single one of them. It is my long underwear. Um, I upgraded this year and you guys know my love of unique little long underwear. I decided to get the Alexander Wang version. So Alexander Wang did a unique low collab and this was the set. It came with like a bodysuit and then you can also get the leggings. I'm gonna preface this by saying I was born, raised, and lived my entire life in Toronto, Canada. So I do know what cold weather feels like. I went to school in Kingston, Ontario, which is also absolutely frigid. I've experienced Montreal like winter, so I, Maybe I'm just used to the cold, so if you guys think our, these aren't like warm enough for where you live, like let me know. I think I'm just like used to it being really, really cold out and like now I've gained this like extra layer of, what, what do seals have? That layer of fat, blubber. So guys, first outfit here is with a pair of boyfriend jeans and I decided to put a champion crew neck on and my boots and a robe coat. This is so, so easy and simple for winter dressing. I just think like, if you're going to school or if you just need to throw something on, this is exactly what I would do. I kind of like that the turtleneck of this bodysuit is peeking out underneath. It gives a really good like homage to like apres ski and like the 80s and everything. Really into it. So the next outfit that I have here is with a pop of color and one of my New Year's resolutions was to wear a little less neutral. And I really tried hard guys. A lot of these outfits revolve around black, but this one has a pop of red. So I like to stay with like only two colors. You guys can see I have my Levi's like redone denim and my Doc Martens. And then I threw on this thrifted red crew neck and then also an extra large scarf. So this scarf is super fashion forward, but at the same time, it's very functional because it keeps you really, really toasty in the winter time. I would personally wear this with a puffer. Um, I like to wear my brother's puffers. I think men's puffers are kind of just like better fitting for like my style than the woman's puffers. I find that like stretchy knit culottes are kind of a good alternative for those who want to wear sweatpants but can't. So this is like a really good uh, outfit for if you work at like a more casual startup and obviously you don't want to show up there in sweatpants or you are going out to meet someone for lunch and want to look a little bit dressier but at the same time comfortable. So I have these culottes from Koss. They're so, so cool. I wore them in the fall. I think I even wore them in the summer for like the cooler nights and stuff and they're just so easy to throw on. So I just put them on just matched it with this bodysuit that I have on right here. The great thing about this long underwear is that it's like so, so functional, but at the same time, you could wear it out and people won't even know you're wearing long underwear. So I just wore it with this top, threw on my little Zara biker jacket, you know, it's my go-to, as well as a blanket scarf. The next outfit I have here is an all black everything outfit. Um, this is how I would style like a sweater dress for the winter. Um, I really like dressing in all black, as you guys can tell, but one thing that really made this outfit was totally the vintage Christian Dior belt that I found, um, I think at the end of winter, like November, December-ish. And I think it totally dresses up the look, makes it look super, fashion forward and one tip that I have for you guys when you're wearing dresses in the winter time is that you're going to get a more flattering silhouette if the length of your coat meets the length of your dress and I wore again with my Doc Martens it's kind of like my punky brat doll look and I'm super into it I think it's really cool so I wanted to pull out a different color palette for you guys and because I know there was a lot of black and gray in this whole lookbook and honestly I know I'm not the only one that gravitates towards those colors 
in the winter time so I decided to go with more like a neutral warm tone color palette so I decided to throw on my pants from garage that I got over the boxing day weekend I think that they are so so cool and they're just this cotton twill and plus because I got them in a little bit of a looser size they fit really well over the long underwear and I also wore my brown suede boots with this as well as a brown turtleneck that I actually picked up on thread up so I know I said I like to stick to two colors winter dressing and you may say hey Rach there's kind of like three colors in here but I think that you could do different shades of a color and it looks really good it adds more interest to the outfit I just wouldn't throw like red blue and yellow together at this moment it's not really my style but never say never i decided to throw on my teddy coat because i know that's such a huge trend for the season as well as this vintage louis vuitton bag i love 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 this bag it's not even mine it's my sister's and she left it here and i'm happy about it and then the last outfit i want to bring like a fun outfit like this is like a girls night outfit like something that you'd wear like out and about or maybe like if you're going to like a fashion -y event i know we have a fashion week here in toronto as well as in new york it's in february so you want to stay warm but at the same time stay cute so I decided to pull my faux fur jacket I got from and other stories last year when I was in New York love 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 this jacket it definitely does not get enough attention on my channel and I decided to just kind of layer it up so this is exactly how I would layer throw on my shop redone denim once again as well as this big graphic tee I don't do this that often but I think with a graphic tee that like stands out it looks really cool with a black long sleeve underneath and then I also just paired it with my beanie, these white boots that were super on trend that I got from Topshop, as well as finally the jacket. This is such a fun look and it kind of looks like it's not going to work, but when you throw it all together, it really, really does. And I really thought that this worked for me. This is definitely something I would wear to a more fashion-y event in the winter time. So guys, that is the end of my latest installment of cold weather dressing. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, I recommend you guys head on over to my Instagram if you guys want more fashion inspo and without further ado guys I am gonna go but I'll talk to you guys soon bye guys